You guys, we have a special guest today. A celebrity of sorts. Of sorts. The man, the myth, the red-hatted woodworker. Hey guys, I'm Andrew. I'm the editor-in-chief of Popular Woodworking. Happy to be here as always. Yeah. So now we're in the wood shop. What have you guys been doing here? <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I don't show up for three months and I come back and it's completely changed. I destroyed the place. It's true. You all know that if you watched the last two episodes of Popwood Playback. Uh, but we have a lot of projects going on in our shop. Andrew and I have spent most of this week hammering down on the April issue, which has some cool stuff in it. Some very cool stuff. Uh, one of the things I'm most excited about is an article I had nothing to do with. It's a Mr. Lyle's outfit table. Uh, that's on the cover. <laughs> uh, it has built-in storage for the CNC router, which yeah. you're seeing in more and more shops these days. Yep. Uh, who else are we on there? We've got Will Myers uh, made a shaker inspired stepladder, a very accurate reproduction of one out yeah. in the wild. Yeah, so he goes, well, he went to Hancock Village mm -hmm. and measured a stepladder that was there. And it's one of those articles that makes you want to get your hand tools out and make oh, something the, on the bench. Yeah, just absolutely. on the bench. Uh, what else? Finishing. Oh, uh, Austin Heitzman did an excellent article on using water locks, and it made me really just want to finish everything in water locks from now on. I <laughs> uh, really broke down the process. Yeah. Like finishing is one of those things I always struggle with and having somebody who's relied on this finish for years yeah. break it down into steps. It still takes time. It takes days, but it's, it's very approachable and attainable. Yep. What was the other one? Last, oh, we've clock. got a clock. Yeah. There's an art deco clock by Zachary Dillinger. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty simple build. He uses a lot of hand tools. Uh, you could bust it out on the table saw a bit quicker, uh, but it's dowel joinery. Uh, but it's a reproduction of an Art Deco mantle clock that he- It's very cool. Had seen. Yeah. And of course, we got all our favorite columns in there. Um, we talk about Sam Maloof a little bit, I'm excited about. He talks about Sam Maloof. Uh, I, well, I'm always talking about Sam Maloof. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so we just uploaded that to the printer. It's yeah. our April issue. It'll be on newsstands toward the end of February and on newsstands through the bulk of April. So watch for that. I'm sure we'll talk about it again at some Probably. point. Probably, yeah. So David, why are we really here today? We are here to celebrate the very best woodworking videos on YouTube. On YouTube. Of the week. Of the week. Uh, the first one I want to start with is RR Buildings. Um, Kyle. I, I love Kyle. <laughs> I, Do you I've, just have like beard relation well, with have, him? I have Kyle beard envy, and <laughs> I just love watching buildings being built. Yeah, the, the time lapses are pretty addicting. But anyway, uh, he had a video go up on Instagram that had 2.6 million views. That's million views. Millions, not to be confused with billions. Yeah. Uh, and it got a lot of pushback on Instagram because it was a Makita cordless sweeper tool mm -hmm. uh, and he was kind of pushing some snow with it. Some people thought it was a bit of a stretch. Uh, and so he made a YouTube video that was longer format with a better demonstration of why he thought this was a good tool. I thought it was really interesting because I don't know if it was truly sponsored content or not, but I liked the fact that he stood by what he said and kind of justified the use of it. He made a very good point. This is not going to be an industrial snow moving machine. Mm -hmm. It has its application. And that's kind of like where I feel like the internet goes wrong sometimes. Where people are like, you're not going to be able to saw through five inches of hard maple with that contractor saw. It's like, no, but it has its place. And like, how often are you sawing through five inches of hard maple? Right. So I just thought it was a great kind of follow up by Kyle uh, and a good example of what it means to kind of share about products, but also stand by what you say about them. So I thought that was cool. Very cool. So next up is the Slovenian woodworker. Uh, and in this video, he makes some pretty crazy cutting boards. And now cutting boards are a great beginner's woodworking project, but he sort of takes it to the next level. Yes. Uh, they're, so they're beautiful looking cutting boards. They're um, end grain style cutting boards, but he has like these crazy shapes and patterns in them. And part of his process is gluing them all together. And he employs some calls and some yeah. interesting clamping techniques. And I, I learned a couple things watching it. So check it out. He also had plans on his site. 
Oh, I yeah. followed a link over to his site. It was a little hit or miss on Google Translate, but I did find a PDF. I wasn't sure what it was, but I downloaded it and there were plans with English step-by-step, -step, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, and the, the video is in English. He's got a great accent too, yeah. so Always I really fun. like it. Next up is KC Woodworks. Kevin over there. Um, Kev. Kev. Kev, oh yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, he is building out a miter station and this is part five of the build. Uh, so he's pretty far along, but I just wanted to loop you all in. Uh, he had sent me an email saying, hey, this is my latest video. Check it out, maybe share it on Popwood Playback. And so that's what I'm doing. He has you eight. checked it out. I checked it out. We're sharing it in Popwood Playback. I said it was good. And, and it is good. He has 800 subs or so. So go over there. Subscribe and uh, share a nice comment about his miter station. Because it is looking pretty awesome and, and oh, yeah. pretty epic. So, yeah, it's, I'm it's a little a, jealous. Oh, I'm, I'm more than a little jealous. <laughs> I need to do that. Anyhow, check that out. The last video we want to share with you today is from Greenacre Workshop. And this is a guy uh, who really is speaking to me specifically. <laughs> uh, this, this project is all about keeping your finishes and your glue in good shape in cold weather. And that's something I deal with in, in the, the great north of Minnesota. Um, so he uses a 40 watt light bulb yeah. in a cabinet to keep things warm enough. It's not just a light bulb though, there's some electronics, some venting. Yeah. Um, but it's a, it's a really cool project and something you should consider if your shop ever gets very cold like mine does. Yeah, he built his out of plywood. Um, I maybe it would have retrofitted like a steel cabinet. Or an old refrigerator. A anyways, it's a really cool concept um, with a 40 watt light bulb generating enough heat to keep your glue from freezing. Check it out. So that's it for this episode of Popwood Playback. It's all they get. Uh, Did they get their money's worth is what I want to know. I, I believe they got their money's worth, David. I don't know that a lot of money exchanged hands here. Um, but I do know you guys are gonna be working on flattening some slabs here in the shop. Yes. I'm working on a pretty cool table build. I gotta catch a plane, head back to Minnesota. Right. Uh, I'm loving, loving what you're doing here in the shop. Next time I come, this shop better be in shape. I think it will be. Hey, um, if you're not following us on Instagram, on what? Uh, the Instagrams. Oh, okay. <laughs> Instagrams.com. Uh, I will be there. I've taken over our Instagram account a bit more than I have in the past. And so next week we're doing a, a production, a shoot, uh, using the Woodpecker's uh, flattening mill to work on a big slab. And it's gonna be a mitered waterfall, all the things table. So uh, you'll get sneak peeks on Instagram. So check us out over there too. Anyhow, we'll see ya. See you next time.